special one for me because it is my first collaboration here on YouTube and I'm actually doing it with three other girls that I work with. This is six, but you know. And they also have YouTube channels, which I thought was so cool. So uh, it's gonna be Tina, Marlene, and Mikey, and I will list their channel names and everything down below so that you can check them out. And of course, I will also link their videos as well. Uh, we wanted to do a Valentine's Day collaboration based around hair, makeup, and outfits. So Tina is going to be showing you one or two different outfit options for Valentine's Day. Marlene is going to be showing you one or two different hairstyles. Mikey is doing the daytime, a date like a daytime makeup look, I guess, and I did the nighttime makeup look. But obviously, do what you want to do. This is just our interpretation of what we thought would be appropriate for what our category was. And you can reach out and see other different kind of YouTubers, which I really think is awesome. Like Marlene, she also does videos in Spanish. So I think it's cool that she's like a bilingual YouTuber. Tina is focused around lifestyle as well as makeup artistry. And then Mikey is primarily makeup artist, but she also does lifestyle videos as well and a lot of vlogging. So I think it, it gives you like a nice array of like different YouTubers to check out. And they're really nice girls and they're really talented, so I think you guys are gonna like them a lot. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, of course, starting off by priming the eyes, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion as per usual and setting it with a skin tone eyeshadow so that it is no longer sticky. All right, I'm going in with Makeup Geek Cupcake. This is the only shadow not from the palette that I am using because I didn't have a light enough pink. So I'm using that as my transition shade all over like the upper crease and immediate crease. Then I'm going in with Mod from the Tarte Tartist Pro palette to deepen up the crease, but to make it a little bit more pink. And I don't want it to be anything too dramatic, just like more than cupcake, do you know what I mean? Now I'm concentrating it on the inner and outer corner, very sloppily, nothing too precise. This is basically gonna be acting as my transition shade for my halo eye. Now I'm just taking my blending brush and blending those colors out. And going in with a small blending brush, I'm taking Fierce from the palette, which is kind of like a light cool tone purple, and I'm concentrating this on the inner and outer corners. I'm not connecting any purple through the crease though. I want the purple only on the inner and outer corners. Now I'm going in with Vamp, which is the darker purple of the two, and I'm placing that a little bit tighter into each corner. I don't want it too dark, but I want it amped up like a smidge more, you know? Blending those colors out and adding in a little bit more of that mod color as well. This is kind of what it should look like. Now I'm taking Chic, which is a light pink just for the center of the lid, and then I'm blending it out with that same little blending brush. Now I am doing the wing, basic wing. I always have to check to make sure they're even, even, and then uh, finishing it up. I speed through this because everyone knows, well, not everyone knows how to make a wing, but I don't find it that interesting to watch, so. Now I'm taking the Glam Rock Glitter Liner by Urban Decay and I'm lining on top of my black line, if that makes sense. You can kind of see here. And I'm basically just doing this to be like my glitter glue instead of going in with an actual glitter glue because I'll be taking uh, Amber Jewelry right here by JCAP Beauty and a small angled brush and just pressing it on top of that glitter liner. I wanted more of like a light pink glitter right on top of my liner. And then I'm taking my NYC liquid liner uh, because it's a lot more fluid and you can get a lot more product on the brush. And I'm just cleaning up the line where I went way too overboard with the glitter. Adding one coat of mascara and then I'm going in with my Ardell um, Studio Effect Wispies. They're like the Wispies on crack. They're my favorite lashes right now. They're so pretty. They wisp out on the ends a lot more, like they flare. Oh, look at that, it's so good. 
Now I'm adding a flesh tone pencil to the waterline. And then I'm going back in with Mod and that small blending brush. And I'm not making the lower lash line too, too dramatic, but I do want to bring that color down lower. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not blowing it out too much. Then I'm taking a tighter brush and vamp and going right up against that lower lash line just to add some definition. And then I blend it out with that small blending brush right afterwards. And then of course you're gonna want to add one coat of mascara to the lower lash line. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do? Oh. I put my brush here to go spray my brush and the face. And it was facing me. You squirted yourself in the <laughs> makeup remover. You're okay? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I just had a mishap where I sprayed myself in the face. It's fine. This is Steela Kitten and I was highlighting my inner corners with that. Now I am bronzing the face with one of my favorite bronzers ever. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's just like the perfect tone, at least for my skin tone. And I like to heavily, you know, bronze my jawline to make it look like I actually have a pronounced jawline, you know? Now I'm spraying my brush with the Stila Kitten on there to make it look, you know, like that. Like, bam, in your face, highlight because I feel like Valentine's Day is like an okay day to go completely overboard with it. That's every day for me, but I feel like especially on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and of course, just highlighting the usual parts of my face, cheekbones, right above my eyebrow arch, down the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow. And I'm using Stila for one because it is a BAM highlight, even though it's an eyeshadow, but it's also got like a pink tone to it, which I love. Now I'm adding in Delizioso Pink Blush by Milani because I wanted a really pink blush, which I never ever wear. And I'm lining my lips with NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. I will be going in with YSL Beige Tribute Lipstick and topping it off with Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss, which is my favorite nude lip gloss of all time. I was going for like a soft pink lip, obviously. <laughs> And then of course, set the face. I'm using NYX Matte Setting Spray. Okay guys, so I just threw my hair up in a bun. Not that I'm an outfit person, but with intricate tops like this, I really like the hair out of the way so that you can see all of the detailing. And I'm terrible at buns, so mine kind of looks ratch, but it's fine. If you guys like this video, if you like how the makeup turned out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know some suggestions down below. Again, if you saw my um, my palette collection video. If you saw any palettes that you'd love to see a tutorial with me using, you should let me know so I can get that done for you because I am going to be purging a few of them. Go ahead and follow me on my other social media if you want to. I have Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are at Chelsea Louder and then my Facebook and Snapchat are at CN Louder. Don't forget to check out Tina, Mikey, and Marlene's channels. I think you guys are really gonna like them. They're really awesome. As usual, don't forget to hit that little red button down below, the one that says subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!